Hello everyone and welcome to Emergency Minecraft, which is, oh I forgot I didn't actually have any Minecraft recorded for today, so I'm recording this. And then I'm immediately going to upload it and hopefully this is not too much of nothing happening because in the end of the last episode I did say that I was going to go mining. Guess what I didn't do? Uh, anything at all. But we do have quite a lot of stuff, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start shoving stuff in here for now. Um, there's a better way of doing this, and we will get around to it. So if you already know that, please don't judge me, don't at me, don't anything, just... We'll get there. Don't worry about it. Um, so I want some gold because we need to start automating more fang. And the fang that we need to start automating is going to be this joker here, uh, the inscriber. The inscriber is what we use, if you recall, to basically make all the parts that eventually we make the other parts out of. Starting with the printed logic circuit, unfortunately, if you recall, it's very, very difficult to... Um, so the problem is you can't sort of take the bits out again, remember? Because you can make the printed silicon easily from silicon and the printy thing, but if you take these in he out of here and, uh, and go down here and put it in into here, it doesn't come out again because it's not the product of the recipe. So what we really want to do is we want to have one of these for each one of these, and then one more because when we... So, look, when we, when we create this, we create the thingy and the thingy, and then makes this thingy, but this thingy then goes into the, the inscriber again, but all three of these get consumed. Recall? So, one for each of the type of thing that you can inscribe, and then one more where all of the things will be consumed, so it doesn't matter if we want to make different things out of it, except it will matter because we won't be able to do it in parallel remember that too so we're going to end up in a sort of a situation where there's going to be a big queue of things but that's okay because we can eventually start to parallelize these just by having more of them so let's remind us ooh, things are spawning remember how they weren't and now they are um let's remind ourselves how to make one it is fluids crystal a bunch of iron and some sticky pistons may actually be part of the problem rather than part of the solution right now um, sticky stick, yes. Uh, we, we can use, do you think we can use the stuff that's over here? Because we did start growing, if you remember, we swapped out this hopper. It does have some slime balls in it. Oh, and there's a lot of slimy. Can I just convert this into slime? Yes. Okay, cool. Um, let's do that. <laughs> let's make a whole bunch more of those. But we're also going to need to make a whole bunch more um, interfaces and a whole bunch more. No more room. Where? Right, there's nowhere to put them because we're not. We haven't actually got a a disk drive yet. So where's my slime going? I want to put it near my slime. The other slime. Here. Oh, well, that's no good. We can put it here. This seems fine. This is all messy. There we go. Right in there. Um. So if I type slime in here, that should show both of those up. I don't really want to go off too much on rebuilding everything that we've already seen. We've seen making an inscriber, we've seen making the interface, and we've seen making the pattern. Do we have pattern in here? Pattern. pattern. Apple patterns. Uh, this one. We've seen all this happen. Can we actually make some of these already? Excuse me? Apple pattern. Do yes. How many can we make? One. There's only glass. Quartz glass. Recipe for that. Uh... Fair enough. I can actually make a lot of blank patterns. And at the end of the last episode, I remember thinking, "Oh, Gordon Bennett, these are difficult things to deal with." That's actually pretty good because uh, let's try making an interface. What what are we missing for an interface? Probably everything. Yeah, most of the difficult bits. Uh, formation core needs the logic thingy, and that's logic, and that's also logic. So, let's get logic processors on the go, which is gold. And I did actually search for gold. I got gold out, didn't I? And that's actually why I was putting gold into the crafting machine over there, the, 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 the smelting machine, because we want to be able to not run out of gold. Or indeed anything, but specifically gold. And this should have a bunch. Bu it's got iron in it, but it's not quite full. 1280. It's like a nugget of iron. Iron, iron, iron. 
Try like this. <laughs> is this going to work? What is this weird number? A nugget of gold. How have you done this? What are you doing? Can't even turn that into a nugget. You. Yeah. Whatever. Let's just break this. <laughs> At this point, I really couldn't care less about. Thank you for that. Couldn't care less about our resources because that's not going to be a problem for very much longer. What I care about is actually turning them into stuff. How did you get a nugget of gold? You lunatic. One. Nope. Very good. Two. Three. Four. So I'm doing it this way. Oh, I turned you off. I'm not just turning you off. Two of those. So now we've got one nugget of gold left in here. Out. Out damn spot. This, by breaking the controller in this manner... Look, it's done it wrong anyway. I think what's happening is stuff's getting stuck in here and I forget. So we end up trying to extract stuff and then... Are you not on redstone only? Yes, enabled high. Why are you mean? If you break the smeltery, it loses the stuff that was inside it. That's the controller for a reason. It, it knows what is... It's a little bit sort of meta, meta gaming because obviously you're supposed to know that if you break the controller then the game loses information about the materials that's inside it, but that's fine because... Um, oh no, I want that gold. Give me that back. Gold. Uh, just because it's fine, okay? So, we are making logic. Logic is inscribed. The logic press, that would make some sense. Logic there, and then I think you can only put one at a time in there. Unfortunately, so we're going to have to watch this a little bit. Um, but I think what's happening is that when stuff is in the smeltery and then it sucks out a little bit of gold and can't put it in well, uh, whatever um, material it happens to be, it can't put it into the thing because it's still forming a block of something, but then it sort of gets stuck in there because you extract the rest of it without sort of thinking sensibly because you go, oh, I've got four ingots left, but what you haven't counted is that there's a little bit of buffer in the pipe which can't get into the thing. So you have to wait. Ugh. One thing I could probably do is... Oh, that's a good idea. Let's do that next. Um, <laughs> put it on the list. We want this, some redstone, and some... Oh, we need silicon. Of course we do. So give me some redstone. Redstone. Oh, that's a lot. Nice. A decent amount of redstone. Well done, me. We go into the effort of doing that. Uh, put that in there. Put that in there. Get me my. Have I got my silicone press? Probably. Silicone press. There we go. Get in there. I mean, this could be faster. Can it be faster? I think we can get upgrades. Apple up. Ah. Uh, here we go. Basic card. You can make a speed card here. Acceleration card. I think all you need to do yeah, advanced card, basic card, advanced card. Ooh, that's a diamond. No, it's Certus, but it's a couple more diamonds anyway because it was right there in the district. Yeah, that's, that's are expensive. I'm going to say no. For now, we're going to say no. But that would be nice. If you can get a decent input on our resource gathering and a little bit of automation going on as well, we can sort of... We can, find a nice average where all of these things come together and it's fine 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 and this put, put these next to each other um so if we wanted to just make advanced cards first of all we have luck on our pick so if we can find diamonds you know that's all groovy right because we're going to get loads from each vein but what we really want to do is be able to produce diamonds so we want to start finding ways of just having diamonds appear out of nowhere which there are ways of doing and one of them is those seeds that we were looking at before but that's a little bit way off because now that we're working on automation tra-la we can actually start thinking about how to make it much easier to get through the tiers of things like that so now that we've got that we can make one annihilation core or two actually that's nice two formation cores uh, let's make a might as well make a couple of interfaces. How many can we make? Put you in you in the, uh, I need a place to store these. Let's go and find the rest of them. Because I'm storing annihilation cores here, but formation cores not. 
So you can go in there. And the reason I put that in there is that if I now wanted to uh, store them in future, I can just shove them in without worrying about it. So an interface is what we wanted here. And also, it's more of these. So that's going to be two of these, which is going to be... Uh, uh, please, please, fingers, you're bad at everything. One, two, three, four. We're going to want a whole bunch, so I'm going to have to store them <laughs> once again. We really, really need to get a disk drive going on, which uh, I mean, it's kind of a problem. Because the only external storage we have is this thing. Even if we put an external storage bus on anything here, it would have somewhere to go. But currently it doesn't. And that's, a, that's bad news. I don't like that. Uh, let's uh, make our sticky pistons, which is this and then. See, it doesn't know how to pull them out of your inventory. Which is great. Also, what is this? Pipe sealant. That's from, that's from Billcraft? I haven't used Billcraft in some time. Uh, I'm looking for these. We should be able to make... Five more of these. Three? Three is a decent start. We've only got two interfaces, so who cares? Um, you need to move. So stop being there. Well done. Well done. Well done. Uh, why don't we put you over here? <clears throat> Where should we put you? We don't have a crafting unit. How about that? Um... The crafting unit there is necessary because, of course, we have a way of crafting. We do have a crafting recipe down in the dungeon. You watch this on Wednesday, and I recorded this ages ago, so <laughs> you already know. I'm preaching to the choir. You know how that works because we... Oh, excuse me. What are you doing there? Oh, wait. Um, we literally just watched it. So that crafting processor is also going to help if we want to use the molecular assembler, which is what we're working towards right now. So let's get some cables. Uh, more, please. Uh, get lost. So you can't get rid of those. Unfortunately, come out. More, please. Uh, have plenty. Oh, that's, I'm really pleased with the amount of resources that we've currently got because I keep expecting any of those things to just decide not to do what I want them to do. And I don't want any of these at all. I want the interfaces here. There we go. Uh, and I will put one of these on here just to power that one, because at some point we're going to want one. Um, but we can now make a crafting recipe, but it's going to be another processing recipe, because that's what we did last time, if you recall. We're going to be able to teach it that if we want to make this, we need this. The pure certus quartz is something we're going to... We can't... Um... So here's, here's the thing. One pure certus quartz is going to equal one printer calculation circuit. And if we go down here, you'll notice that I had to turn off the fact that the um, the logic press, whichever mm -hmm. one it was, is necessary. The calculation press and the shirts quartz should go in here to produce the circuit. But we're not going to take this out. This is part of the machine, right? If it wasn't part of the machine, then yes, both of those things would be required to make that recipe. But as it happens... That is not the case. What we actually want is just the extra thingy that goes in. So it's one of those, is one of those, because the, the, the part of the press, the calculation press, doesn't get used up. We should be able to craft one of these, and we can craft one of those with pure certus quartz. So we don't have any pure certus quartz, obviously. Pure certus quartz. And my phone did buzz buzz. I'm expecting James. You remember James from the old, um, from the old series, from the old channel? He's on his way, so we might be able to get some um, some collaborative videos. He might be able to hang out. So it's called Seed. So we can uh, we just do that. Pure Certus. Oh, it's gone away. Pure Certus. And then, and then, it's just this. This is what we want. If you make a couple of these, go down to our chamber and just let them grow. Let it grow, let it grow, let it grow. What we would like to do is to extract that stuff. But currently we only have this crappy cable, so... We'll do that later, because <clears throat> we can do an import bus, right? And an import bus will... pull stuff out of an inventory and bring it into the system. Which isn't particularly difficult to do. We just need more iron. Uh, so... We can do that, but what we need to also make sure that we don't pull out 
the crystals before they're grown. So we also need a filter to stop it from pulling out ungrown crystals, which is not necessarily something that we're going to be able to do right now. So that's why I'm not doing it. So let's go and put these um, inscriber thingies into their relative things. So this is going to be the silicon press. So in this one, we're going to teach it to make silicon, particularly printed silicon, which is going to be part of this, uh, this one. So this, you have to go into here to do that. This here, we do this again. We don't need that. We just need that. One of those equals one of those. Easy peasy. And remember, you can only do one at a time. So one thing, one trick to do in in the future, if you want to try and parallelize stuff, is to say sixty four of those equals sixty four of those, even though it's really a one to one relationship, so that it just makes a huge buffer each time. But we can't do that here, because um because we can't so shush can we make any more of these by the way out of here why can't i make this fluids dust pressure can i make fluids what did we teach it i can't remember just fluids dust now we can't let's get fluids crystal just well uh just oh. we have to go down to our crusher and make this so this is going to be the process for a while. And obviously, I said I'd do some stuff off camera, and one day maybe I will. <laughs> one day, one day maybe I will. Here's a pulverizer. What did we teach you? One surface quartz dust from one surface quartz crystal. We could also teach it this. In fact, why not? Why the heck not? We should have just taught that and taken it with us. Lewis dust. So the recipe for... Uh, oop. Let's take this. And then uh, just hit the R on there and do this. So this says one fluid crystal equals one. Perfect. Exactly what we need. Go back in there. Uh, I'll go and take that down at some point. But now we have our fluid dust anyway. Uh, we are going to make more of these. And some more of these. And some more of these. Iron. Any, any, any old iron. Here's another thing we need to do is wire up this, but I'm not going to use this. That's the thing. <laughs> I, I keep saying we need to wire this up, but this is not what I'm going to do. I am not going to wire this up in the first place. So let's have a look at this. This is three by one, two, three, four, five, six, which is 24. There's 24 things in here, which is going to turn into 48 ingots, which is not quite a multiple of nine because four plus eight is probably 12, which is... Actually, it is a multiple of... What? No, it's a multiple of three. It's not a multiple of nine. So... The next multiple of 9 is, you know, 9, 18, 27, 36, 45. So we're going to have 3 left over, which means we need to do this 3 times to get a whole number of blocks. Because we need to make sure there's nothing left in this pipe. Oop, oop. So if we do this 3 times, this back. Boom, 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 boom. Because that's going to start, you know, that's what... And I'm hoping this will just be correct and I don't have to worry about my mathematics, but you know, it's almost never true. <laughs> and you need to be faster as well because I'm not waiting. Two is enough for now. Come back to those. So I want to hook something like that up, but I'm not going to hook that specific thing up because it's slow and boring and requires a constant input of lava. Instead, I'm going to go and automate machines downstairs. And that's going to be something to do in the future, but it's not going to be something we do. Right now, because I have nearly have automated the processing of these things. And I'm going to need to make one more of these. I might do that off camera or I might use it to fill in the time. Network Apprentice, what did I do? Reach eight channels using devices on a network. Huh. So here's the thing I'm not sure about. <clears throat> Excuse me. The <laughs> ME cables have a concept of channels but these don't seem to be using it and i'm a little bit confused because it you can when you're using it in channels mode you can only put a certain number of things down a cable but these all seem to be working fine even though they're not even the advanced cables that have channels so i'm gonna have a look at what that is actually all about because i feel like i've cheated by accident so we don't want to we don't want to cheat by accident okay? i'm gonna check and then when when I've learned, I will come back and tell you what it is that I learned. Uh, we might actually have enough to make this. So this is going to be the spare one. Actually, it's not the spare one. It, isn't gonna, it is going to have an interface. 
Can we make another interface? I don't think we have the bits. No, we need to do this. One of those. So now I can say, hey, please make me. I can, I can ask it for the printed circuit, but I cannot ask it for the logic circuit. So, oh, we need to make sure we've actually got. Yes, right, okay. Printed. Do this. It's over here. That. And then we want that. And we want. Wait, is there any three? Printed. There are only three. And then there's the silicon as well. So we've learned. Okay, cool. So this is going to be the logic circuit. Oh, where did I put my things? Where are you? Oh, I already put them in. Did I already put them in? I already put them in. There's the logic one. Well done, me. And then this should be engineering. So we put the engineering. In here, grand, and in order to because in order to make the interface, we need the actual calculation processes or the actual processes out of the thingies, but we can't do that because we need this in order to make the interface. In order to do that, so we're going to get a couple of printed logic circuits. Now this should work too. Next, two gold available, correct to craft two. So kind of expected you to require right, 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 right. That's the circuit. So down here we should find. You are behaving. This. Are you? Did it work? I think it worked. Hello? Crafting status. Hmm. Where is my present house? <laughs> Not working to plan. Crescent hammer, crescent hammer, crescent hammer, crescent hammer, crescent hammer. There you are. We might need to point the right direction. There we go. Right click, uh, right click on the top, and it will point downwards. Right click on the top, and it downwards. There we go. Down, down, downwards. Downwards. There we go. Um, this doesn't seem to work. If we put gold in here, I would have expected it to put gold in here because I asked for an inscriber logic press. Wait, that with gold, right? Put that in there. That's slow. You're not getting power. You're not getting power, are you? Hmm. Right. Right, said Fred. Save a little dance for Charlie. Well, I'm glad we learned this on camera. Let's get some more of those slabs. Are those slabs available? Give me my food back. Man, such a clumsy when it comes to pressing those buttons. So, we want... I'm going to make this gangway a little bit wider. Need it that way. I'm going to make a little bit of a space back here. I think I'll just do it right. One, two, three, and a gap. So that's there. We are going to be. That's going to be the wall. So here's going to be where we make a mess. Ta da! And then torches. Go on nine, and then put that there. We really need a better way of lighting up the base, and that is in the plan. And people who have played with me before might know what I'm going to do. If you haven't played with me before, then it sucks to be you, quite honestly, because I'm amazing to play with. Uh, we're going to power these directly, I think. If I can't, then I shan't. Do you know what? I don't think I need to. I don't know what's cheaper. <laughs> Undo it. Leadstone, no? Leadstone conduits. I don't think I have any left. Inconceivable. I don't think that word means what you think it means. Oop. On. I mean, we have power cables. Think I can extract energy from the system that way? I don't know. 
Is this enough? That's the real question. Da, 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 da. Yes, but it didn't connect. Why you not connect? Why you not connect? I wonder if I can force it to. I might not be able to. Uh, do you know what? Just don't even try. Give me my Yeta wrench. Give me those things back. Those are expensive. You know? So we're not going to try that. Because that was expensive. These cables, these cables are cheap. Also, you've all... Oh. So you've already broken because I was expecting them to break because the other place around the corner keeps knackering itself for some flipping reason. Can someone tell me how to get rid of this latest death, by the way. Um, let's do this really. You got power now. Yes, Is that the right one. It was the right one. So you're going to work. And I want to see if this disappears as well. It doesn't. We have problems. Let me explain the problems as best as I can. It doesn't work. The reason it doesn't work <laughs> is... Um, first of all, when we, put, when we ask for a thingy, it doesn't seem to put gold in the thing. Secondly, when we get the thingy, it doesn't put the thingy in the thing. Right? So we need to power it, we need the interface on top of it, and we need a way of extracting it when it's finished, none of which we have. So let's just heck in. Oops. Let's do uh, one of them. Find out why it doesn't work. So we'll go next. The crafting CPU is right, because we've still got the old one in, in, in process. So cancel that. Then we do printed. So we, we need a crafting CPU in order to actually successfully craft something. If something is already being crafted, that CPU is taken up and you can't do it again. It just didn't put it in here. I don't know why. It's definitely, it definitely knows what to do. Well, at least we know how to do it. <laughs> at least we've got one of each thing. So let's um, let's just get a bunch of gold. That's not gold. Gold. Uh, and this is a bit of a failure, unfortunately. Um, I'm sure there's a quicker way and better way of doing it. I don't know what it is. Uh, but once we've got this going a little bit more easier, I don't think. Oh, the other thing is, I don't think that it's going to be powered if we put an export bus, like a, a thing that drags in. And then the export bus, oh, it's going to need to not pull in the printed logic circuit, which it's not going to be able to do anyway. Uh, not the printed one, but the unprinted one, this one. That's a bit of a difficulty, isn't it? Because this is going to... Give me this. Put this on here. I want to try at least this one. Where we... There we go. Um... I want to be able to try making one where you put all three things in, which is this. If we encode that pattern, put it in this interface. Are you going, <clears throat> excuse me, are you going to let me, if, are you even going to let me put this in the interface? No, because we don't have a space for it. <laughs> There's a couple more things we need to do, and one of which is disk drives, because I've made all this stuff and it's all very well and good, but it's not useful as it stands. Because we can't put arbitrary things in, in the stacks. We can only put things we've already put before in the stacks. And, and, and that's not enough. Uh, can we make this now? Uh, sorry, logic process. I keep clicking over there thinking that I can ask this to craft it, but I can't. Next. Right, we have to cancel this other crafting recipe, which isn't working. Um, please make me a logic processor. Oh, hello. Next. Start. Are you working? You didn't put anything in. I know that you know how to do it. Do you not accept items? Is that a thing? Inscriber. Advanced Inscriber. I bet we need that. Hmm? 
What makes you think we need that? The fact that it's not blinking working and it's going to take diamonds. How many diamonds have we got? Diamonds. Oh, we've got lots. And don't type the plural. Uh, we could make that. Let's, let's make up for the fact that I forgot to record this episode by grabbing some diamonds. Uh, yeah. I'll make, I'll take, take four, but I'm only going to make two for now. Um, engineering processor. So we're going to make an engineering procy and see if the advanced, uh, advanced inscriber, advanced inscriber. going to be two oppers, going to be two chests. Chest, two of them, please. One, two, eins, zwei, eins, zwei. Advanced, come on. Driver is going to be two of them, and then one, and then more iron. I promise you, soon. Because <laughs> I could do so much of this off camera, and honestly, next time I probably will. There's nothing left. There's nothing left. Is this a whole number? I got it right. I got it right. But I wanted you to know what I'm doing. And I wanted you to see me fail once in a while because honestly, seeing your mentors and people you respect fail at doing things that you thought that they should be good at, it's inspiring. Right? So you watch me fail all the damn time. We're going to want this. And then what's in the middle? The original inscriber. Perfect. So you've done one. Want one more. I'm not going to do four because as soon as this is finished, which is going very fast by the way, I'm going to break this with actually this. Q, turn it into the advanced inscriber. Uh, use it. That's this button. Nope. That. Do. What? Didn't make the things. Yeah, it's just redstone and printed silicone. So we've got silicon in our hands? No. Didn't we have silicon just now? One, two. Redstone, got redstone. Go in here. This is for this anyway. Two. And any silicon. This is frustratingly slow. And I honestly trust me, I know. <laughs> You're watching it, and I'm doing it, and both of us are going, for goodness sake, please. I, I'm hoping that this advanced inscriber is going to let me do what I've been trying to do all this time. If it doesn't, mate, pay attention. Don't talk and play at the same time. It doesn't work. If it doesn't let me do what I've been trying to do all this time, I'm just going to go, thanks for watching. I'm never playing this game again. Let me go here. Oh, wait, that one. I keep pressing shift, and then that looks like the thing that I'm... Because it's the... Mm. Because when you press shift, it shows you what your encoded pattern actually encodes the pattern of. Every time I try and move something. Every time I try. time I look around. So this. Right, 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 right. This is what we want. So you go in there. Give me this back. Give me this back. Put this here. Put this here you have got the engineering press in you uh let's do it with a diamond please give me that's all that please give me engineering circuit next start so this says automation cannot remove this this is crushing it to pieces please leave Spit it out go on suck So we got halfway there. <laughs> we got halfway there. But now we're living on a prayer. Do you have a thing that will extract the items for me? No. So I need a export you thing. Import bus. Import bus. Oh, really? Impulse. Get this out of my face. Uh, another one of those, please. Tum -ti -tum. Oh. Oh, thank you. Already got one. 
where's my silicone gone? I should just pick up more. Why do you only get as much as you need and then you go downstairs and you go, well, I should have picked up loads, but I guess I didn't. So we know what we need to do, which is to craft advanced inscribers, which was kind of easy, a bit expensive on diamonds, but diamonds can be, you know, found later. Uh, and then we want to make this. Oop. Oop, doop. No, the... I'd rather use the diamonds on something really, really good right now than worry about not being able to make them later. Um, I think I want a formation core. I forgot, so I'm not going to do that. Just in case I'm wrong. Import burst. What an annihilation core. Thank you. Import burst. Thank you. Right, if we put this on here, the question is, do you now not get to keep your power? Because if you are powered or rather not powered hello are you facing the right way wait give me a you look like you're facing the right way because you're attached to the what more could you possibly want <laughs> how how can i appease you Oh, gods of the Minecraft. Oh. I'm going to look this up. Thanks for watching. This has been a difficult day. <laughs> it's not been a difficult day. It's just been a pest. I don't know how to get that to kick out again. Are you going to kick out? Um, I'm going to find out how to get this advanced inscriber to pull this out again. Because this import bus should be doing exactly that. Right? That's exactly what this is for. Why aren't you working? Um... I don't know if I need to tell it. I think this is a, a filter so that if I put anything in here that restricts it, but it doesn't restrict it at all if you don't put anything in it. Um, I'm going to try one more thing because I might be wrong about that. So let's pull this out of here. Put this in here. And then I can't put that back into the advanced inscriber, I assume, to see if it's working. I'm going to ask for another one of those. It will automatically do it. Next. Oh, cancel that. Ah, I press escape and it goes all the way back and I wish it didn't. Uh, right. Cancel that. Go back to here. Create me an engineering circuit. Next. Why are you still running that? What? Excuse me? I don't have any diamonds. Why do you think I don't have any diamonds? You had 27. Where did they all go? I, I had... You saw it. Where did they all go? This game is stressing me out. Where have all my diamonds gone? Can you no longer tell? The channels. The channels have caught up with me. I see now. I don't know how many channels this is using. It's a lot. It's too many. Right, 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 right. No, don't get confused. Chill out. Don't panic. <gasps> Remember how I was saying about the channels thing and I needed to look it up? I do need to look it up because I'm a silly boy. We've got too many things. There's some things here. There's a thing here. I don't know if that takes a channel, but it might do. There's one, two, three here. There's one there. When I put these things down, it said there's eight things on the network now. Like eight? That's a lot. But there might be. So now there's seven. Or maybe eight again. So let's try that now. Uh, engineer. It well, didn't help. Happen to be the. Yeah. I didn't mean to do that. I know what I'm doing. Right. I I'm all a fluster because I'm confused. <laughs> right. Put this here. Take this off. Hook this up. Here. In fact, take all of these off. Heck you. And then. Put this here and then just wire it up hackishly for now. There we go. So this is the only thing on the network. I don't know why I put that there after all that. That looked bad. Do the thing back. <laughs> you just put this here. Right. This is there are not many things on the network now, so we can put our 
engineering circuit in there. This should be able to find diamonds. It can. This should be able to make an engineering circuit. It can. If I ask it for one of these, it can make it. Hurry up. It's making it. It's going to appear here and get import bust. And get import bust. And you're going to go in there. Go in the system. I... I quit. <laughs> Can I look it up off camera? Thanks for watching this absurd episode. <laughs> I, I haven't done any mining, and I really, really want to. Uh, until the next episode, again, thank you for watching. Ooh. Uh, wait. Not yet. I hear endermans. Skellingtons? Go and get. Oh, I really need to replace all this as well. That increases multiple ones. I remember making it now. Uh, give me this bucket. And all this stuff can go in here for now. Uh, we will fix this, I promise. I promise, I promise, I promise. But until next time, I hope that you're learning, by the way, because this is great. You all need to learn from me. The best Minecraft player ever written. Why is there light? Oh, because I've fallen in the wall. <laughs> are you actually on? What are you taking damage from? This? Are you damaging things? Active on redstone stick? <laughs> this is so silly. Put this here. There we go. Put this here. Uh, yes. And then what else did we get? One of these. So we can't do it. I don't, really don't know what was causing damage there. Let's do this. It didn't really seem to make them hurt. I need to fix this mob spawner. Look, you can see it's going and it's still not working. Anywho, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode. I can only apologize for the complete random nature of me being unable to do a simple task and until the next episode when i promise i will know what i'm doing i guess i'll see you see ya